My name's Tommy Murray. I'm the director of mountain maintenance at Towski Valley Incorporated. My initial push to get this particular machine was to kind of lead the industry in making the change over to electric, reducing our carbon emissions, saving on fuel, and just overall supporting this new technology. We took possession of both these machines this past winter, early season. We picked up our Husky ECAT. Um, it arrived in January. The hybrid machine from Piston Bully arrived in the fall, in October. Um, so we had both of these machines operating this, this season, this past winter. The ECAT really surprised me with its performance. It's very limited to the type of application that we can put it in. We mostly used it for pulling our Bavarian sleigh rides, for our dinner sleigh rides. Um, we used it for cleaning out lifts. We used it quite a bit on the TBL, which is our terrain-based learning area. So it did have its purpose. It's definitely not a fleet groomer by any means. It's much smaller than our frontline groomers, but it does have a purpose here. You know, with the ECAT, our, our fuel savings is 100% every time it goes out. It has a runtime of about three hours. And in that three hours, you know, our typical machines run about five gallons an hour. So every time that machine goes out, we're saving 15 gallons of fuel. If you look at that over a season, it's a, it's a huge amount of fuel that we're saving. Yeah, the hybrid cat, it's on a different level. It's definitely a frontline groomer. It went out every shift, all winter long. It's a 20% less fuel consumption. So every time that cat goes out, you know, we're saving about 20% of fuel versus the irregular fleet groomers that are going out. Over a season, you're looking at, you know, a couple thousand gallons of, of diesel fuel that's being saved. So our, our carbon footprint is definitely lowered by having that, the hybrid cat with us. This last month of our operating season, we switched over to a HVO fuel, which is a plant-based, animal-based fuel. It is refined, so it's not like a biodiesel. It does have a gel point about five degrees below zero, but we tested it in all of our machines the last month and saw a significant decrease in our carbon. We were running about 85% less emissions using the HVO fuel. We also have a fleet of nine electric snowmobiles. We typically fill our on-mountain tanks about four or five times a season during the winter. We only filled our mountain tanks once this year. Right there, that's you know over 2,000 gallons of unleaded fuel and, and mix that was saved um, as far as oil and fuel consumption from the, from the snowmobiles. So, you know, with all these electrical components, um, new equipment that's coming out, it's electrical, like these machines, like the, the electric snowmobiles. You know, this is a work in progress. Um, we have to start somewhere. If we don't support the technology, it's not gonna advance, you know, and I'm willing to take that step, you know, and work through the bugs with the companies, let them know what works, what doesn't work. This is the wave of the future, you know. If we're gonna continue to run these types of machines on ski resorts, we're gonna work through the bugs with the factories. I just wanna help be the leader you know, and let people know, like, this is technology that can work. I think it's just a matter of time, you know, letting that technology advance, supporting it as much as we can. Because if we don't support it, it's not going to advance. Um, and I think it's a great, really great thing.